food didn't work. <laughs> but, no, I just I noticed he was flat footed, so I told him it was an unbelievable move, but he would have got, came back the other way and then he would have got in trouble. <laughs> Good job. No, yes. Good job. Uh, coach, uh, the last time I saw you guys play a few weeks ago, Jenny wasn't in the lineup. Uh, I thought it'd be a pretty good game tonight. Is he somebody you brought along slow as a freshman, and does he make an uh, impact perhaps even beyond what you would hope for? Absolutely. We brought Nick in at uh, right about this time last year, and he was uh, uh, as an insurance policy. We only had 6D and a couple guys were hurt and uh, he practiced with all second semester. And then, you know, for one reason or another, he just hadn't put his game together. And we got to a point where we said, let's give him an opportunity and he'd run with it. Um, he's got confidence, he's got a swagger about him now. Uh, he's playing good defensively, um, which is what we were concerned about him at his own end. He was good defensively. And you see him jumping in the offense, that was a, a big time shot on his, on his bowl. That He's just playing with a lot more energy, uh, a lot more confidence since he's been in the lineup. And it's been good for our team. He's provided a little bit of lift for us uh, and some offense for the blue line. Uh, to, ask, to be more, can I just ask you really quick? He had some goals last year in this tournament. He had another great first period. What do you like? Two questions, just really quick. One, number one, what is it about this tournament that you feel brings the best out of your game? And two, what's been the spark for the top line lately, um, you know, between yourselves and and Brady, um, Brady and, and Alex? I mean, it seems like you guys have just taken your game to another level the last, you know, several games. Yeah, I think just uh, getting back to hard work and uh, having confidence in ourselves and believing in each other and knowing that if uh, we make the right play in our own end, that um, the other two guys will be there and um, take care of the offensive zone. So. I think just really getting back to um, working hard and um, hitting guys and just being all over the ice and supporting each other and it's, uh, it's obviously showed in the past couple of years. So. Francis, how tough of an adjustment would it be going from a game tonight? I mean, no one can like State, but they did, you know, pressure you guys a lot. And not tomorrow's going to be a buzzsaw because Providence obviously is playing really well and scored a lot of goals tonight. Yeah, I mean, we've uh, we've done it last year. It's uh, nothing new. I mean, Ferris State is obviously a good team. I mean, Lake State is a good team as well. We just played really, really well. So uh, I don't think it's any different. Uh, it doesn't change my my preparation. Everybody keeps asking that, is this going to be a launching pad? And I think that we've already had our launching pad moment, and that was our second game at Penn State. I think the belief and our belief level in our hockey team has really came about at the Blue Ice Arena when we realized how good we can be and how much trust we have in, in this group and um, how good of a group this really is. And our belief factor uh, that game and since then has been through the, through the roof. And to say that this tournament is a launching pad, we've got a tremendous amount of belief in this hockey team. And I asked a question in our meeting before that game, I said to the group, I said, maybe we're just not good enough. And the resounding answer I got from the team and my staff, and I knew the answer, but I wanted them to say it, um, was that that's completely not true. We just haven't played to our potential. Um, so we got to the point where we said, we have to believe in ourselves. And believe has kind of been our, our motto since that game, and, um, you know, we played really well at Penn State. We probably uh, bounced or two. We, we would have won that game, but our belief level was high, and it stayed that way in the last month. So I, I think we already had our our launching pad. Now it's up to us to sustain it. I think we got to have sustainability with our belief level. We 
can't let any negativity draw into that and just continue our belief level to through the, through the next uh, amount of time. That's a much different team playing out there tonight than what you saw a month ago here when we played Penn State. Coach, you mentioned belief in that factor turning around recently and the confidence factor coming back into the players and into the dressing room. But it seems to me also, I mean, and I don't know what you can credit to, it seems to me like the key critical moments at times, when you score a goal or right after a goal is scored against you lately, the focus and attention of the whole team has been more with you and consistent over the last few weeks too, if I'm correct. It, does that, how does that come about? And what did you, what are the, what are the sorts of things you did to make that happen? Because we believe in ourselves and we believe in each other that we're gonna get the job done. We're not gonna let any ne negativity affect anything that we do. We give up a goal, we believe we're gonna get it back. And we just have to make sure that, that we have that buy-in and not saying it wasn't there before, but we let doubts get into our minds. And, uh, I don't think that doubt's there anymore right now. That was a, and I didn't give an opening statement, but that was a really, really complete performance. Our effort level, our intensity um, was outstanding. We didn't give them, they didn't have a chance to get, well, that was welcome to Pittsburgh. And uh, we, we jumped on them and we stayed on them. And even in the third period, um, when maybe the execution wasn't as great and we were just, uh, Plan of our, we, we didn't, our work ethic and our back check level and, and shot blocking was still there when it was 5 nothing, And that was a, that was a 60 minute workmanlike effort that didn't allow Lake State to even be in the hockey team. That's not, and that's not nothing against Lake State, but that's, that's the facts of the hockey team.